The U.S. Center for Disease Control says the skyrocketing use of antibiotics in the livestock industry poses a serious health risk for consumers around the world. The Korean scientists say the solution to this massive problem could be could come from silkworms. Kim Ji-yeon explains this recent breakthrough in biotech and how it could make your meat safer. In recent years, scientific research into silkworms has been a growing field here in Korea as pharmaceutical and cosmetic firms seek to unlock the genetic secrets of this tiny creature. This time, Korean agriculture researchers use silkworms to naturally produce antibiotics for farmed chicken. The first step in this process is to utilize the powerful immune system of the silkworm. Researchers inject lactic acid bacteria into the silkworms, which induces an immune response in their bodies. As a result, potent antimicrobial peptides are produced, which have shown to be highly effective in fighting a broad spectrum of bacterial, viral, and fungal infections. These antibiotic filled silkworms are harvested into a powder and then mixed with chicken feed in small doses. After five weeks of consuming the natural antibiotics, the level of salmonella and E. coli in the chicken dropped by nearly 10 and 4 percent, respectively. In addition, poultry flocks were observed to have increased body weight despite eating less. Researchers say the health and economic benefits can extend to other livestock as well. It's not just for farm chickens. It also can be applied to cows and ducks. Poultry farmers, pig breeders, fish farmers, they will be able to greatly benefit from the treatment if it's able to be established and extensively promoted. Back in 2011, the Korean government placed a total ban on mixing antibiotics with animal feed to ensure consumer safety and also reduce the risk of creating drug-resistant superbugs. However, this silkworm-based alternative could be the answer farmers here and abroad are looking for to ensure that their livestock remain disease-free without dangerous chemicals. Kim Ji-yeon, Arirang News.